nasty people, okay? They make me laugh and they have dark sense of humor, I like that. Uh, I noticed that some dark jokes of audience were like, the comedians are laughing way more and they were like, these people are evil. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, so please give a round of applause for Mr. Tom Franklin. Hello everybody, good evening, how are ya? Great. Um, you know you're having a bad day if you uh, uh, drink a pumpkin spice latte and when you're walking your dog, you have to take a shit in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Happened to me today. I swear to God, I had to wash myself before I got here. That way you wouldn't smell me when I walked through. Wash. <laughs> All right, shit. Um, so a potato and a hot dog were walking down the street and the potato said to the hot dog, you look like a dick. <laughs> and the potato said, you piece of shit. Go away, <laughs> the only thing that the Ku Klux Klan and the Wu-Tang Klan have in common is their excessive use of the N-word. <laughs> you don't know what it is. If you're in Japan, it's ninja. If you're in Germany, it's Nazi. And if you're in America, it's whatever it's for everywhere. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to get my ass beat. There is a couple brothers here. Coming. So now that I know we're cool, all right. Um, you guys ready for a really brutal joke? This one is brutal. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to open a, uh, a Holocaust-themed swimming pool. <laughs> and I'm going to call it the Abba Maktafrai Bot. <laughs> the only thing I can say about it is you're not going to the fucking showers. <laughs> I'm going to open a cigarette company. It's going to be called Grizzly Cigarettes. Because I think if bears smoked, they would get more honey. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how cunty bees are? They're like, they're like right-wing liberal fucking non-smokers. I think I'm eventually going to see no smoking on a fucking beehive. You get near it, it's like... <laughs> Next. <laughs> So, back when I used to have sex, <laughs> I would often hear this complaint. I didn't come, as if it were my concern. <laughs> Fucking knee slapper, that one is. <laughs> right, I'm going to talk to the ladies in the front. Hi, hi, man. What is the purpose of sex in the first place, biologically speaking? It is to procreate, to continue the species, correct? I'm mansplaining. Yeah, I, I don't. Um, I don't like that. <laughs> what, if, what if I was in a plane and I was the pilot and I was like, "Jump the fuck out! It's we're gonna hit a mountain." You're like, "Don't mansplain to me." <laughs> anyway, back to like you know men talk. Uh, <laughs> you guys cool, right? I'm like, I'm sorry, but. Um, <laughs> So, uh, what the fuck are talking about? Oh yeah, biologically speaking, sex only exists to procreate, to continue the species. And this is how it works if you look like me. You go to a bar, you get a four, hopefully a five, with low self-esteem, and they somehow trick her into having sex with you. Do what you gotta do, show her a card trick, tell her your favorite Copperfield. Whatever works for you, right? Now this is what sex is. A man takes his erect penis, puts it in a woman's vagina, he moves it back and forth, up and down, whatever, if you can, put a leg up here, get a ladder, if you can get a midget looking at you, whatever you need to do. Sorry, little person. <laughs> he's, fucking, he's probably staring at you like, yeah, I wish I could do that. I gotta see why you bought the ladder. <laughs> right, okay. So, and then the man then has an orgasm, he ejaculates his semen into the woman's vagina, up to the cervix, into the uterus, and then he therefore then, uh, uh, you know, gets the A golf, you know, you know, excited and all that, and then like you have a baby. Now, ladies and gentlemen, during that entire thing I just did right now, I was standing right there, now I'm standing here, and that whole fucking time, did you hear me say anything about a woman having an orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> ladies, why should I care if you have an orgasm when nature doesn't give a fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you do get an orgasm, 
you should be thanking us. Like, oh, thank because for me to have you to have an orgasm, I gotta stop my orgasm. I gotta, I'm in the hammer lane, like when we get mine, baby, I'm going all the way to the left on the five. On the side, right? I'm talking like this bitch is hot, man. I'm gonna get one. And then she's like, I have one, one, and she's behind me, she's like some cunty Mercedes driver. And I have to put them on to her signal and move the fuck over so she can have her orgasm. And then what do I do? What do I do? I look at the fucking bed post and I'm like, is that mahogany or <laughs> is that fucking oak? What is that? <laughs> and I look at the candle and I'm like, oh look, where is she by that candle? And that's what making me stop coming. But what's making her come is like, that candle smells good. I think I'm in the seals. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, another thing that happens <laughs> is that women always say that men are players, that we're fucking, we're dogs. Let me ask you a question. Statistically speaking, as men are half the population, who are we fucking? I know some of us fuck each other, that's right, men, we, you know, you don't talk about it, right, sir? <laughs> I think you're gay, I'm gonna worry about it, so I'm not trying to pick on you. Nice hair, by the way. Um, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, now, now if you subtract double penetration and gangbangs, that means we're fucking ladies. That means you guys are untrue too, right? Good. We're the wrong person. <laughs> So, here's the fucking home run. You guys ready? I'm Sammy Sosa and I'm fucking Cuban. <laughs> now, what does a penis look like? Anybody? Right, it looks like a mushroom and asparagus together, right? <laughs> so it's fucking disgusting. It's got veins and it's staring at you. At least you know what I'm talking about. Maybe I do too, right? <laughs> Yeah, but why? Okay, the penis is shaped that has like this little fucking hook thing on it. Like, and you know why it's that way? It's to fucking pull other guys' semen out and to put ours in. Okay, we're the players. Do you know how many fucking dicks you have to fuck? through generations of millennia to change the shape of that motherfucker? <laughs> that's fucking, dude, that's evolution. Darwin would be like, yeah, that bitch is a hoe. I mean, fuck the turtles, look at the dick. <laughs> so, you guys, uh, everyone knows this Pokemon Go game, right? Right, good. Okay, let's move on. I call it Pokemon Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> Uh, and, um, what's the game about? You're looking around for little fucking creatures that don't exist and you catch these little creatures that actually don't exist. We had a game growing up, it was the same thing, but we called it LSD. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking creatures chased you. Is that the dragon daddy? <laughs> fucking, it's very scary. And yeah, the joke, mind it. <laughs> have you made it right in? Who's that, sir? <laughs> <laughs> like it's like a it? It's augmented reality. Augmented real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to speak to the entire audience. And I think we don't know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> I love you, man. Remember the, the, the gay guys on the motorcycle? Remember that. Uh, yeah, but uh, this Pokemon Go game is so crazy that like it companies and, and uh, Galinda and wherever you places all around the world said you cannot do Pokemon Go here. And here's the fucking killer, ladies and gentlemen. This also applies to Auschwitz. I'm not fucking joking. They actually have people looking for Pokemon Go and fucking Auschwitz. <laughs> Who is this guy? Hey man, look what I found near the pile of shoes. <laughs> Also, Auschwitz, not a place uh, to be doing like fucking like shout out, uh, you know, selfies. Like, ah, here's me in front of the crematorium. <laughs> Hashtag, who wants pizza? Don't do that. <laughs> All right, let's get a little personal. When I die, I want to be buried without a coffin. That way, when I rot, I seep into the ground. That way, I can be inside. <laughs> You're creepy. So, um, I always, I'm a white guy, in case you didn't know this. And um, I know it is dark in here. Um, I could be glowing too. Um, 
So I always hear this complaint from, they call them minorities, I just call them other people than whatever. They always say, the white man be keeping us down. And I'm like, oh, that's gravity. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, we didn't, white people didn't create gravity there. Uh, it's white gravity. We, we fucking, we might have, we might have made the fucking, uh, the, the fucking mathematics and came up with the theory of gravity. Oh, you mean economically and socially? Yeah, that was, oh, sorry about that. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was my time. Uh, that's all for that. See you Uh, I'm really sorry when I'm crossing, it's so tight that